What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brent Young, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Atlanta, Mobile, Alabama. Of course, all 10 of the trophies are in the background. We're talking about Brink TV. Now, to not adjust your TV set, we got a brand new face on the couch with us tonight, but she's just not just a regular gorgeous pretty lady, you know what I mean? She's much more than that. We're talking about author Malisha Applewhite. How you doing tonight? Hey, how you doing? Doing wonderful. First and foremost, I got to say thanks for coming on the show. It means a lot to have you kicking it with us tonight. Me too. All right, so we got plenty to talk about because as I stated in the introduction, you are an author. This is your very first book. We're talking about Covered Scars. Yes, sir. Out right now. Yes, sir. Available. <laughs> most definitely. So let's go ahead and get into this book. But, but first, let's talk about you. You know, where are you from coming? You know, where are you from exactly? So... Hey everyone, my name is Marlisha Applewhite. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And I think off camera you told me you're coming from North Memphis to be exact. So what was it like growing up for you? It was kind of complicated, but you know, we made it work. Um, one thing I can say is that I was strong through it all. Okay. It turned my, turned my drums into a book, as you can see. So. Okay. Just want to share my story. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this book. Like I said, this is your first uh, installment, correct? Yes, sir. And you said that this is probably going to be a series, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's talk about Cover Scars. What is it about? Cover Scars is basically about, it's a short autobiography about me. Okay. It's about growing up, abuse, motherhood, life complications. And you know other stuff, but I don't want to get too deep in the book. I, I want to be people to be able to read it. You don't want to give it wow. away. You don't want to spoil yeah. it. Okay. But it just at first it was the journals that I wrote, so I just turned my journals into a book, as I said, and pretty much just want to reach out to the young people and people growing up like me that hit a lot of scars in the inside. So when I say cover scars, I mean like scars that you dealt with. That you never told people that you always covered up and, you know, dealt with on your own. So, I just turned it into, you know, a book for that, everybody to read. That's amazing. And, of course, you're talking about internally. Like, how important was it for you to, at a young age, be able to write down and, you know, pin these things that was going on? Because off camera, you told me, you know, it was a lot of painful situations we won't speak on on camera. But how important was it for you to go ahead and transcribe these happenings? It was tough, but I pushed through it because, you know, you never know people's stories. And, you know, you never know how your story might touch someone else's story to, you know, speak out and, you know, let them be okay with, you know what I mean? Not let them be okay, but let them know that it's okay to, like, speak out. Don't be silent. You know, just whatever it is that's bothering you mentally, physically, emotionally, like, speak out. Because I dealt with depression, like, in my adulthood because I, I always carried those things that I covered up in my right. past so I'm kind of slowly facing them like even with writing this series I feel like it'll help me you know push past everything that I went through so I understand yeah. so was it an easy decision to decide to go ahead and say you know what I'm gonna write it down in a book and I'm gonna publish it for the world to see or was that something that you wrestled with um I wrestled with it okay, okay. only because I didn't want people just knowing about me, what I want them to know about me and how I overcame right. things that, you know, I faced. So I don't want them to just know that, oh, she been through this or she been through that. I want them to know how I overcame it, too. Or, you know, it's not all sad things. It's all it's happy moments, like motherhood. Right. All that, like, it's, it's more than just cover scars, like bad cover scars. Right. So. I understand. I understand. So I got to ask you, like, with some of these, like, what would be your earliest journal entry? At what age would, would that have been? When I look back at my journal, it, it thing said 2012. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 2012. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So is it ever painful for you to go back and read some of those entries? Because, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of similar. You know, I've wrote down some of my. Uh, I guess you would say painful moments, you know, when I was younger, you know, things that I had to overcome. And then when I go back and look at it now, it almost brings me back to tears. It takes me back to those moments. So is that the same with you or what? Yeah. Like sometimes when I think about it, like how I overcame it, right. like, it don't be the fact that I went through it. It's just how I came through it. Right. It makes right. me emotional because I'm like, wow, yeah. you really came through this? Yeah. So. Yeah. Wanna All right. So as far as like future, like. 
or have you done any speaking engagements or anything or is that something you're looking to get into or what well i did one motivation speaker event okay. for um, a group of girls so what was that experience like for you were they you know were you well received or what it was nervous at first but once i got there and got to talking and you know, relating to the girls, right. it was more easier to, to talk to them and understand them, and they understand me. So. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they really appreciated that. Cause I mean, one thing about our youth, they don't always have people to talk to, and sometimes when they they don't have as many creative avenues to express themselves, they just act out or lash out or you know like that. I remember uh, they going to you know depression. Mm -hmm causing suicide because they don't really have people to you know discuss things that's bothering them i mean yeah. bothering them so absolutely it'd be hard so one thing we talked about off camera was when you actually began to open up about some of the things that were going on at the time um people weren't as i guess you would say supportive you know so i mean how did that make you feel at that moment it made me feel alone but then I just feel like, shoot, I'll be grown soon. I'll be able to understand my own emotions and, you know, help my own self to overcome it. So, I feel alone. Yeah. But, I mean, most of them just thought I wanted attention, but they never knew if they never, like, took the time to understand, like, why she crying or why she doing this or why she doing it. Cause right. Because not all the time, you know, girls or boys acting out because they want to right. sometimes things that be bothering them they don't know which way to you know show it so absolutely especially like with teenagers because teenagers go through so much as far as peer pressure as far as yeah. like really chemical changes in their body you know the growing things are going wait a minute switching what? different neighbors exactly it's a lot schools, it's so. a lot yeah I'm trying to learn different people so they try to you know blend in with whoever they surrounded by so absolutely so for all the young ladies that may be out there watching this what would you say would be the biggest takeaway from this book when they read it i think they will be able to understand how it's a little easier to face their scars you know inner inner scars and you know how to tackle them and understand that even if no one's listening at home there's people that willing to listen and hear them and not think that they just want attention or, right. you know just understand that people are here people are willing to listen to you so yeah why would you say that a lot of people keep things bottled up on the inside you know they're not they're kind of reluctant to actually reach out to somebody for help or because mental health is a big thing but why are people you know primarily our people so bottled up and contained with emotions and what's going on um i think because you know it's so easy being silent. Yeah. And like once you speak out, it's a whole different ball game. Yep. You, and you can't go game. back. You know, once you so, cross that line, you there. Ain't no do over. Ain't no I ain't mean. You got questions stuff. coming here, questions right. coming there, and it's like all attention. Wait, even though they say you want attention, but it's not that type of attention. Right. It's just the attention of you know needing help and understanding. Right. So. Right. Definitely. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about where the people can purchase the book as well as access it. Is it online anywhere? Let's talk. Contact me at Instagram, upcoming underscore star underscore. And my Facebook is Marlisha Applewhite. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you got any shout outs or anything before we go? Um, I want to shout out to my team, my partner in crime right here, my baby. Um, our kids and um, my supporters in and out of, you know, I just kind of nervous now at the end. But it's all good. It's all good. Just the book is out right now. Like I said, y'all make sure y'all contact her so you can get your copy. And she gave me a, a copy. I'm going to have to check it out. You know, I have yeah, to do that, you know, because like I say, it's all about us healing. You know, that's the most important thing for us as a people to do. You know, we've been through so much and we continue to go through a lot. But the healing, that's like the best part about it. So with that being said, I got to say thank you again for coming on the show. You're welcome. All right. And now Thanks back to having me. Oh, of course. Had to. Had to. Now back to more Brink TV. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? I'm Brink Young, host of the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Brink TV. And of course, these are my awards. Let me cut to the chase. I got a question for you guys. When was the last time that you promoted yourself on TV? 
You can't answer that, can you? Well, the Bring TV show now is in three markets. Memphis, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, and Mobile, Alabama. So if you rap, sing, model, comedian, or if you have your own business, we invite you to the Brink TV show. Be sure to check us out every Tuesday night. Check your local listings on Comcast. And we have live stream, BrinkTVShow.com.